Hey guys, Ryan here from Rode, and in this video, I'm super excited to be showing you a brand new wireless offering from Rode Microphones that's going to completely change the way that you think about compact, portable wireless recording. Introducing the smallest wireless system we've ever created, the Rode Wireless Go. So portable, in fact, that we're using it with an iPhone right here to record audio direct to camera, and Helena is even using some wireless Apple AirPods to monitor the audio live. But let's go inside and check out all of the features of the Rode Wireless Go. The Wireless Go has been designed with simplicity, ease of use, and of course, portability in mind. It's an ultra compact wireless solution that requires no professional knowledge at all to operate, and it takes only seconds to set up. The system is comprised of a transmitter and receiver combo that operates in the license-free 2.4 GHz spectrum, meaning that you never have to worry about your frequency allocations anywhere in the world. The effective range is up to 70 meters line of sight, but the Wireless Go has actually been optimized for use in really crowded wireless environments, so it's a super reliable connection every time you're shooting. Both the transmitter and receiver have built-in lithium-ion batteries that give the user up to seven hours of battery life. These can be charged with the included Rode USB-C cable by plugging it into the side of either the transmitter or receiver unit. And the nice thing is that you can even power the transmitter or receiver via USB if you happen to run out of power on a very long shoot. All of this means, of course, that you don't have to buy battery packs to carry around with your rig to be able to change batteries live on set, leaving you more time to focus on the content that you're shooting. One of the things that makes the wireless go truly wireless is the inclusion of a built-in broadcast grade lavalier microphone in the transmitter itself. This built-in lavalier mic allows the user to clip the transmitter onto the talent just like we're using right now so that you can be up and recording straight away. This will save you a lot of time in managing cables and it's super easy and quick to set up. If you do feel the need, there's also the option to use the wireless go transmitter as a traditional belt pack lavalier setup. On the top of the unit, you can see that we have a 3.5mm TRS input appropriate for connecting standard wired lavalier microphones. And then you've got a nice little clip here that you can use to clip the transmitter onto your belt. The receiver has a similar design to the transmitter with its nice compact design, inbuilt lithium ion battery and rounded edges. And on the back, you can see that it has the same kind of belt clip as the transmitter. This clip is perfectly designed not only to clip onto bags or clothing, but it also mounts onto the cold shoe mount of your DSLR or mirrorless style camera, or onto the cold shoe mount that you'll find on mobile rigs like this B-Script cage we have on an iPhone here. To mount it, you simply open up the clip and slide it on for a really nice and sturdy connection. From there, you simply connect the output of the receiver to the input of your camera or mobile device using the included SC2 patch cable. Again, to remove it from your camera, you simply open up the clip and slide it off just like so. In order to switch on the transmitter and receiver, you'll need to press the power button on the bottom of each unit. For convenience, the wireless go comes paired straight out of the box, but if you've got more than one system in future and you want to pair a different transmitter and receiver combo, this can be done by simply holding down the pair button on the receiver unit to switch it into pairing mode. Then you simply press the power button once on the transmitter and within two seconds, your transmitter and receiver is now paired. Once connected, the receiver can be plugged into your recording device with the included SC2 patch cable, just like I demonstrated earlier. On the side of the receiver, you'll also see a button with a decibel marking on it. This will cycle through the different gain settings when pressed down. The different options are low, medium and high gain. The medium gain setting is a good middle ground for most usage applications, but if you do find that the person speaking is a little bit too quiet, you can switch this into the high gain mode. And if you do have a loud sound source that's coming in a little bit too loud onto your camera recording, you can press the button again to switch it into low gain mode. When you're shooting in outdoor locations, often you have to contend with wind noise potentially affecting the audio on your microphone. With the Wireless Go, we include two fur windshields that you can clip directly onto the transmitter's lav to make sure that when you're using it in outdoor environments, it's never affected by wind noise. If you've got any questions or feedback about the Wireless Go, then please leave a comment below or hit us up on Twitter, at RoadMics. Happy shooting.